Hi guys, in the previous video, we've shown a lot of interest related to Augment Code, which is a, an AI extension of VS Code that you can use within uh, your IDE Visual Studio Code and that uh, uh, has been gained a lot of very good feedback by the developer community. Today, what we will do is to compare Augment Code with Try AI. I will use them both to create a fitness uh, website. And uh, let's see how it goes. Let's start actually with Augment Code. Let's then switch to Try. And let's see what the overall experience uh, will be if what we prefer and uh, some feedbacks. We go through Augment first. So if you have Visual Studio Code, you need to go to the extension uh, side and insert argument. This allow you to install, which as I already explained. So let's move to the folder argument and uh, we will start a new project, which I already created called fitness app with an empty folder. It should be called uh, more correctly fitness web app because it will be a website. Uh, so let's say, yes, why not? Let's say whatever. if. We, Okay, let's not save then. Let's go to our file, fitness app. Here we go, let's save. The important that it goes there. Okay, we are there, I believe, yes. So to start checking argument code, I will go through argument here. You need to log in. Augment initially it give you 14 days free trial, but uh, then uh, you need to, um, to pay basically. I believe it's uh, $20 per month. I could, can quickly check augment pricing. It's actually quite expensive compared to uh, GitHub Copilot, which is very good, by the way. Um, it, uh, it, has six, it gives you 600 messages, $50 per month, $100 per month, $250 per month. Well, basically, the options are quite expensive compared. Uh, I don't go through specifically what they do, and uh, but uh, you can see better for yourself. Here, we'll use the free trial, which is basically the 50 per month that is renewed after. So here we go. We can see we, we are in argument in the fitness app. We can, let's double check. Index, you can click index code. We don't have any code, by the way. If you go to settings, you can see that you can connect to the already to different tools through them, um, probably, with the Notion, GitHub, uh, Jira, Superbase, etc., etc. You can add MCP and you can add name and command. You don't have other big lists like try that, where already you have a big list where you can, in one click, already add your MCP, which is something in favor of try. Then you have also the startup script. If you want to give instruction to the code, for example, okay, here in this case is uh, um, that is for the instruction for the terminal. Uh, startup instruction, do you want to add something? Then you can add them here. Otherwise, no. if you want to add the user guideline, for example, one that I will not write specific guidelines, but what I will write is to uh, use a modular app. Uh, files should never have more than 400 rows. Prefer to use more modules, sub modules, to um, create uh, creating a new file to avoid LLM issues with context token. Just very summer. You should write. By the way, if you want to have advice on what to put in the user guidelines, you can also take uh, inspiration by the cursor directory, digit cursor directory in Google, that where you can find uh, rules to add to your project, uh, specific to your project, based on a specific tech stack that you want to adopt. You can choose the stack, text stack, for example, React, and you could even copy, paste, modify those, just saying. Then now you can see that you have also context. If you want to select specific context to, to select, we don't have, we're just starting, so we don't need. Let's start. Uh, to write a website, you need to write, first of all, uh, to make a planning and uh, then start developing the first smallest task and iterate through that because if you will tell everything at once it will make mistakes another approach 
you could follow is to go through v0 which is another ai coding tool which actually is very good at creating the ai design and no ai design ui ux designs to use that base of code and start developing with augment code or other ai coding tools like cursor etc etc uh, or uh, the one we will compare with which is try in this case we're not doing that we're just moving faster so um make a plan of a tech stack and procedure way to develop a fitness website in next js uh, and yeah decide the best stack the web should have should be should have the home page the contact page and the search page and it should be ui ux friendly it should have a beautiful ui ux and be seo friendly that's it for now uh, you can uh, improve the NAS prompt clicking here. You can also decide if you want to use a chat or agent. We'll use the agent. You can also use the remote agent if you want to run it on the cloud. Apparently, this can be fast and uh, uh, basically faster to, to work and maybe cheaper using the specific cloud provider. And as you can see, it uh, gave me a better prompt. And let's run it. So now it should create me exactly a roadmap of what we need to write, develop. And that's what is doing very fast. This is all done by Augment for free, but because it's an agent, probably it already moved to uh, to start developing the application. You can go here to check if they did so. They didn't yet. Okay, do you want to start? Okay, it is actually, would you like me to start implementing this plan by creating the initial Next.js project structure? Yes, that's it. Let's see what this is run tools automatically let's say yes um the mcp here you need to run yourself in trial you can also build with mcp and you can add them which one you need it can automatically do that just saying so let's move on so we see how to behave and how it performs starting from scratch it is actually starting to to develop a project let's say yes creating a, an app the next app next js app would you like to use Turbo Pack? Why not? It is taking some time. By the way, soon we will switch to, to try to check exactly what the difference and how it is the feeling of using it. So you can start watching my previous tutorial about raw code, GitHub Copilot, and other AI coding tools. I, by the way, I have a playlist if you want to check all of them with them in so far you can identify what you can find yourself best. Also consider that those tools, they are updating very fast uh, and very quickly. You can see that uh, it is continuing to develop with um, uh, the argument code. And uh, we uh, have already the first application uh, installed, the uh, Next.js uh, framework installed. It is continuing basically to perform some actions. Um, because I select auto, it is just going by itself to proceed with different actions. As you can see, in every uh, small step, it is performing specific action. Now let me check the project structure, install additional dependencies. Now let me check the current package JSON and install additional dependencies. Okay, now let me install the additional dependency we, we need for fitness website. Okay, let's pause it and see where it gets. Let's also specify not to complete the application because we need to go to try. Let's maybe run and see some some first part of this application. Hello guys, I just went downstairs, have a yogurt, came back, and the app was run. We let's have a look together. You see how much code was written. Uh, let's check what it has built so far. Look at this. This is already a website. Wow, it basically did it and is continuing to build it. Sounds to me a fantastic website already, but I might have to stop because I want to show try AI. So actually let's stop pressing here. Uh, I'm super impressed by the website, which which actually built from scratch. There are some imperfections that is, it was continuing to develop, uh, but it this has built in three, four minutes. The time I went downstairs, five minutes, I would say. And I came back and it built already this. Uh, I'm sure that if if time passed, 
probably would fix it. But let's stop it and let's view now try AI, which is by Biden's. And I shown you in the video earlier, but now we have some development and some uh, improvement. So let's now open the same project. Here we go. And we can see the interface is similar a little bit of Visual Studio Code. We have the source control, the search, the preview, where you can view the website, which is something that anyway you, you have to install an extension to do in a VS Code. Remote Explorer, the extension store. Pretty much what the Visual Studio Code has. A bit lighter, uh, no lighter, I mean, a bit full interface here. On the right hand side, here you can work the same way you would with the Visual Studio Code. Uh, on the right hand side, you can choose between build with MCP and builder, or you can create your own agent with the name, the prompt, or what it does, which is something that I haven't, I haven't seen anywhere else, which is already pro I've seen in, uh, uh, in trial. I have selected the build with MCP. Let's have a look what MCP we can insert. Uh, you can add a lot already of MCPs already listed here. Look, uh, look here how many there are. Really a lot. And you can all add in your project and work automatically with, the, with them. At the moment, I have only GitHub and Playwright, which I inserted, uh, but I will uh, consider what to add in future, what uh, maybe Notion, because uh, for, if I want to write documentation about the project I want to work on, probably that can be done within try. It's not this amazing. Uh, so MCP is something to keep in consideration. The context way works sim similarly to what how courses work. You can add documentation here as well, which you can't do, I remember, in uh, augment code, you can do it in cursor. Uh, you can select the premium model, the advanced model. It's, it is also deep seek there uh, as a premium one. Uh, you can also add custom one. You can set your agents. You can set the context, the rules. If you have an MD file, which can be similarly to before, you can add the cursor directory website to understand uh, how to build your project. It gives one by default, apparently, unless I put it in the past. Okay, I wouldn't bet on this, but you can add your rule file. It can be the global one, the user rules, and the project rules specific to this project. And uh, let's move on to our to our project. Continue, please. Uh, no, please don't touch to right. Finish the webs to a ready stage and with UI, UX interface that is beautiful and follow the initial plan, which probably is set to the Redmi or we can check it from our history. We can actually copy this. Okay, uh, I copied the, the, from the history the plan it made and the, the agent build with MCP and that's it. We use Cloud4 like before with the augment code and we start so again it will go through it by itself uh, they are both very very good at analyzing the context of the code but to be honest every ai coding tool is catching up on this but for my personal experience i really think that github copilot nailed it more than everybody else but try i also did it now and uh, argument code too, which means that they are all very good. Um, as you can see, this is uh, working just right now uh, on the application is continuing. The difference is that here is asking me to accept the modification. So I might be clicking here and there to accept the result, but let's pause it um, after what I said and let's uh, view uh, the results. You might have noticed before, I actually by mistake, run the command to a wrong project to for try so i rerun again uh, to the correct project so again a pause and uh, let's go back to the result of what how this app will be uh, complete the way it will be complete let's have a look okay we are at the stage where we can show you what was built even though i think again i'm showing the wrong website why that oh yeah I think it's wrong. So, uh, an issue happened here from my personal instruction. We actually uh, built, uh, I think by mistake, uh, because I selected the wrong project, 
it was actually building, it started building a fitness uh, web application. And then because we were handling, I opened a wrong try project, which was actually a um, house viewing website. It st actually started building uh, the, the same concept on a Puya view website. So obviously now, uh, because I copy paste the same command here into the new one, to the right project, it actually transformed the, the, the fitness website to, to a, a viewing one, home viewing. So what I asked now is to revert it to a, a fitness app and it recognized the mistake and it is changing the website accordingly. So let's have a pause, which is actually a learning point also to understand how, how try handle it. Let's pause a second and let's view finally what uh, how it will handle it. By the way, are you liking this video? Consider to like, subscribe and comment me. Let me know, do you prefer uh, augment code so far or uh, do you prefer try? Uh, what do you think is the best AI coding tool right now? Let me know in the comment. I'm very curious to know your opinion. By the way, uh, let's have a look of the result and consider to look at the other videos uh, in the playlist of the AI coding tools to view also how other coding tools behaves. By the way, if you struggle to create uh, no code or a web application, website for small, medium businesses, uh, I can, can help you. Contact, reach me out on the website that is linked in the description and I can also I'm also we are also able to help writing any 10 workflows which implement AI to your web application and again let's have a look now the result of this web uh, it is uh, continuing uh, as you can see it transformed it correctly by the way I noticed that the page as you can see is not fitting uh, the width of the screen and it's not adapting and it's not uh, responsive so what i will make sure to ask uh, um the is to make it responsive make sure the app the web app is responsive to the full quid and height and it adapts to responsiveness let's pause it a sec let's rewrite it make sure want just to make sure that, that this is done and let's see in a few okay it actually did it i uh, gave uh, the um the prompt to follow it did now it's uh, responsive it is uh, definitely to improve but uh, i just went around five ten minutes um it was continuing to run the tasks uh, if i did allow to complete probably we would have a full website we have the contact page we have the about we have the service and the home the contact page also well is not finished because it didn't allow the time to finish but uh, it probably would if i continued it created the pages basically and uh, some of them they are partially done it also impressively uh, this was done already with uh, um, augment code it downloaded and use the correct images related to the topic of the website. So that's it. Uh, let me know what you think about uh, Augment Code and try. And let me know. See you in the next.